Pisces, hi, it's your girl Kat. It is Water Sign Wednesday at Scorpio Tarot. I'm just done Scorpio and now I'm working on Pisces. Let's see what we've got in store for you, Pisces. Mix it up just a little bit more. That one flipped on me. Hope everybody's doing good today. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Unspoken hidden feelings. <laughs> got a lot going on here, Pisces. All right. So you're starting off the reading with the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who's in and out of the relationship, on and off, hot and cold, you know, indecisive, you know, kind of uh, could have several options, um, could be playing the field. Uh, then we have the Empress and we have the Ace of Swords. So. I feel like you are protecting your energy and wanting communication and the truth. You're wanting the truth from whoever this person is. It's in and out. Okay. Then we have the Four of Pentacles, followed by the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands. So Pisces, I feel like you're closing yourself off. You are putting up walls here. You're becoming very guarded with this four of pentacles energy here. Uh, there's something about this knight of wands that you feel like he's, they're not telling you the truth. So you're becoming a little closed off here. Queen of Cups, followed by the Two of Wands. I hate to say it, but I am picking up another energy here, possibly a Scorpio. Your person is at a crossroads. They have to make a decision with the Two of Wands here. Again, two. Yeah, Pisces, I hate to say it, but I feel like you feel like this person who is in and out hot and cold is not telling you the truth about another person, possibly a Scorpio here. And there could be a crossroads or a choice to be made here. Um, it's an equal partnership. You feel like you're in an equal partnership with this person, okay? You want um, a happy home life with them. You want to start a solid foundation with them, okay? But you want to be treated fairly, okay? With the justice card here. Let's pull a few more, okay? Ten of Cups, that's a good sign, right? Followed by tower, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> oh, sorry, Pisces. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, the hermit. Oh, crap, okay. Three of cups. Ace of wands and the five of pentacles, okay. So Pisces, I feel like you felt like you could be very happy with this person, this in and out, on and off person, okay. But something happened or something is going to happen soon. You're going to have a tower moment with this person. It's going to come crashing down around you. Um, I feel like you're going to go into introspective hermit mode, turn inward and search for answers on what you really want, what's important to you. You know, do you want to entertain this person anymore? Um, do you want to continue with this pattern with this person who's on and off? Because you feel like you're not being treated fairly with the justice card here, okay? You want an equal partnership. And you feel like this person's kind of all over the place. Maybe they have a lot of options. Maybe they're talking to a lot of people online, something like that. But you don't like it, okay? And you're going to lean on family and friends to kind of support you and help you through this time. A new beginning, okay? 
with the five of pentacles here, I feel like you're cutting this person off and you're deciding to move on without them. Um, in leaving them out in the cold. Let's clarify some of this, Pisces. Show me this Knight of Wands. So somebody is very passionate. You felt like you could have like a, a really good partnership with them, with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. You felt like, Pisces, this was really going somewhere. And your person just kind of acting like an ass. Okay, reckless. Your person's reckless. This is reckless behavior. Maybe, maybe flirting, talking to other people. I don't know what they're doing, but there's reckless behavior and you don't like it. You want them to be honest with you and truthful with you. What is the Queen of Cups here for? Strength. Your person could be getting back together with a Scorpio. Um, not necessarily a Scorpio, possibly another, a, a different water sign, but, you know, typically we read the Queen of Cups as a Scorpio. Like, okay, show me the Two of Wands. Why is Two of Wands here? You're worried. Not sleeping at night. Kind of feeling like you want to break from all of this nonsense. Because it's not balanced. Maybe you're the one with the two choices. You're gonna stay or you're gonna go because you're not happy here because it's not balanced. Show me this tower card. Why is the tower card here? King of Pentacles. It could be an older person who is well off, very stable has something to do with that, another person. Maybe you have another option. Yeah, there's some third party shit going on up in this mofo. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we got way too many people on the board here. We got the Empress, which I feel like is you, Pisces. I feel like you're sitting in your Empress energy. You're, you're, you're keeping your power, you're not giving away your power. You're cutting off nonsense. You're demanding the truth. You're sitting pretty, okay? But then we have this person returning from the past, possibly a Scorpio, Cancer, another water sign. I'm feeling Scorpio. Uh, two choices to make here. You're feeling like you need a timeout because it's unbalanced. And then we have this tower moment involving an older gentleman who could be well off. That might be on your end. You might have another option that you're entertaining. And we have uh, definitely a third party situation going here with the three of swords. So, it looks to me, Pisces, like your person is a little bit of a playboy. Talking to other women, flirting with other women, what have you. But you have this uh, king of pentacles up your sleeve that you had this falling out with the Playboy guy and you say, you know what, let me go talk to the King of Pentacles. How about that? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to cut the Playboy off entirely. Wow. Where does this end up? Let's pull some more cards because this is, this is like a telenovela up in this mobo. Woo, Pisces. This is spicy. Emperor. Yeah, you're messing with an older gentleman here. Somebody older than you. And if it's a if it's a female, then they, they have kind of masculine energy. Stress out, you stressed out. Trying to manifest something. Yeah, this is some toxic bullshit going on here. But, I mean, your future, once you cut this person out, looks good with the star card here. Could be an Aquarius. Uh, this older gentleman could be an Aquarius that you're thinking about. Maybe you're trying to manifest the King of Pentacles to come back to you. 
after you leave Playboy here. Yeah, because that's your soulmate. Damn, baby. Okay, I see it. I see you, Pisces. I'm trying to bring back the King of Pentacles, the Emperor energy, the older, more um, financially stable, secure, protective option for you. You're done messing around with this Knight of Wands. Because they're talking to other people and possibly a Scorpio from their past. Wow. Okay, let's pull some or Oracle cards. Let's put on my... This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. Yes, that's what I'm picking up. That this older gentleman is the one that you really want. It's not, it's not Mr. Playboy over here. You want the King of Pentacles. And you're trying to manifest him to come back after you have this tower moment with the Knight of Wands. So whoever this person is, is in and out of your life, you know, you're like, go ahead and go. I, I really want the King of Pentacles. This could be the one. You've already met this person. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So somebody here is addicted. You could be addicted to each other. Somebody could have... Um, drinking or, or a drug problem or gambling or you know some kind of addiction and there's codependency between you and this person um, keeping you bound to each other very soon yeah clearly decide what you want so it comes to you okay so what you're manifesting is going to appear but you have to decide which one you want is it going to be the nine of wands or the king of pentacles pisces you have to decide Wow, this was a spicy, crazy reading. <laughs> That's what I got for you, Pisces. I hope that resonated with somebody. Comment down below. Let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you do. Just hit the subscribe button for me. Help me out. All right, join the little Scorpio Cat family. And um, that's what I got, Pisces. This hot mess. <laughs> Hopefully it works out for you. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you next time.